Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna look at how we can switch between third person and first person camera by pressing a key on the keyboard. Let's jump right in and get started. Here I have opened a level and I have this character here but I have made some changes to it so in order to keep everything simple I'm not gonna work with this guy and instead I'm gonna use a default third person character. Here I'm gonna hit add and select add feature or content pack and then select the third person. Drag the third person character into the scene and here in the pawn section put the auto possess player on player 0 and we are ready to go. Instead of doing this you can just start a new project and select the third person template and follow the tutorial. Okay now I'm gonna open up my third person character and go to the viewport. Here we have a camera which will function as a third person camera. Let's rename it to third person cam to make it easier to work with. Now I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D and then parent it to my mesh so I can attach it to my character properly. Let's name it first person cam and then here in the sockets I'm gonna select head to completely attach it to my character's head. Now let's adjust the placement and we are good to go. Here we need to check use pawn control rotation to take control of the camera properly. Now scroll all the way down to the activation option and make sure the auto activate option is unchecked. Then select the third person camera and make sure it's checked. It basically means that when we play the level the third person camera will be activated first by default. If you reverse them, you can start the game with the first person camera as your default view. Alright, now we need to add some nodes to the event graph to be able to switch between the cameras by pressing a key on the keyboard. First, we need to define a key and use it as an input, so here hit edit and go to the project settings. Open up your input settings and here add a new action mapping. Name it cam switch and assign a key to it. I'm going with C but you obviously can choose any key you want including gamepad keys or even VR controller keys. Let's go back to the blueprint and here type cam switch to add the event node we made to our event graph. After that we need a flip flop node so every time we press C one of these outputs is activated. Our default camera is the third person so for the first time we press C on the keyboard the first person camera should be activated. So let's add a set active function with the first person camera as its target and then activate it. We should also deactivate the third person camera so duplicate the function with the third person camera as its target and then untick the new active option. After we press C again, we need to activate the third person camera and deactivate the first person camera. So just duplicate the nodes and reverse the ticks. Hit compile play the level and now we can see that by pressing C we can toggle between our cameras. There is a little problem here and it's that in the third person mode the direction of the character is not changing based on the direction of the camera which is actually what we want. But the same thing is happening in the first person view mode which we don't want it to happen. We want to match the character's rotation with the camera so it doesn't look like this. In order to do so just go back to the event graph and here at set use controller rotation yaw. Activate it for the first person camera and deactivate it for the third person camera. Now we can see that everything is working properly and the character rotates based on the rotation of the camera. That's it for this video and if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, catch you later.